All right, Bazinga. Uh, two more players need to join before we can start this one up. Yeah. And make that one player now. Uh, M1184. This is episode three of Draft Beer. Wow, episode three. Yeah. Jeez. We're just cranking these out. We are. We've managed to keep this up for three whole weeks. This is probably the best, similar to Star Wars Episode (laughs) 3, the best of the whole series. (laughs) So, wait a minute, which one was that? What? What? Oh, man. Well, I'm glad we were able to move on. Good start. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah. um, Here's my, what I think we should try our best to do. We need to not draft green this week. He's, oh, you think so? I think we need to avoid it at all okay. costs. Um, this it's giving us the little fits again. Oh, it's sorry. The there. there you go. Whoa. A 5 6 flyer that stops him from casting spells yeah. or attacking. Probably a good place to start on a deck. <laughs> That's not green. Definitely not green. Yeah, definitely not green. Um, white is a pretty powerful color anyway, just with... Yeah, I think we've gotten hosed in our last couple of attempts to play white. Um, so, yeah, I say snag it. Yeah. Although somebody's going to get a worm and a lightning yeah, bolt. Yeah, lightning bolt's good. The yeah. pyromancer, especially if you get a couple of them, is good. Mm. Giant worm. Oh, damn guys, pyromancer. It's good, but I, I think this oh, is of the course, play. Of course. Five, six flyer. That's... For a whopping seven. Yeah. But we're going to, you know, it's a big deal. We would be taking the worm otherwise. Right. So, so we're playing seven either way. There we go. Oh, mass polymorph. Where do I sign? Yeah. yeah. Or the foil root bound Craig for I, two colors that we may not even play. Yeah. Um, Armored Ascension can be huge. Oh, yeah. Totally huge. In um, deck. Yeah. I've won several brick and mortar uh, rounds just off of that card alone. Yep. Uh, Stormfront Pegasus is also tempting. It's a good cheap flyer, but with the It'll one, wheel. yeah, and with the one toughness, yeah. Um, so armor ascension right now. Yep. Okay. Oh, Garrick's pack leader makes it tough. <laughs> it really does. Um, <laughs> there's Chandra's Outrage, which is a good burn spell. Yeah. Um, the Cloud Crusader, if we are just sticking with white, is a a decent flyer. Yeah. Cloud Elemental. Mana Leak. Mana Leak. Um, if you go black, um, the Liliana Spectre is actually a pretty good card. This is a, a good pack. It really is. Um, cause you, here's the thing. I, I, I never play black. I just never do. I, mm-hmm. They're just... Uh, I'm not really comfortable with picking you know stuff that manipulates the graveyard too much. Right. And I just have never been really comfortable with black. Um, I'm tempted either to stay in white and not choose another color... Or if we go outside of it, either go with the Cloud Elemental or the Outrage. Mm. Um, Gosh, yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, I don't know, well, if we just pick something. We'll stick with the white. I'm not ready to go anywhere else. And right now we're going to get wow. all of our white creatures getting plus one, plus one. Okay. There's another Outrage, Ooh, so red is kind of open at this point, um, but I think white's kind of open also. And right. If, we could go not mono white, but fairly close. Right. Um, that go could, heavy white and then like a splash of, of yeah, red, maybe. Splash of red, splash of black, whatever we mm. get some good removal in. I, I think we take that honor of the pure. Um, so far we have two creatures. I guess that's a little bit better than I thought. Condemn, it's not my favorite yeah, removal but it spell. Down, but but it, yeah, it slows them down. Some of those creatures also that, um, you know, have low toughness it doesn't even really hurt you that much lets them gain a couple life safe passage though uh yeah, for, passage. you know just for a good surprise card um act of treason might not be bad yeah if, we're, if we decide to go red yep. um the thing is i think by the time our stuff comes around i think all the good red burn will have gone to the wayside yeah i think uh, you're right i don't know I mean, i'm i'm tempted to do the condemn i i just i don't see anything that is so good to draw us into another color and maybe in pack two we open a bomb. Sure. That sends us a signal of where we need to go next. Okay. Um, here, the lich is. We don't have any artifacts. No. It's, it's a. A constructed yeah. card. It's not a. Right. Really a limited powerhouse. Um, safe passage is sure. okay. I um, know it's white. Yeah, Alliance Mantra we would never play. Yeah. Uh, four or five. Uh, but true. 
and here's the battlefield tapped. Volcanic strength can be good, but I'm not huge on auras. Mm-hmm. Armor Ascension is really one of the only auras I'll play. Just nothing real yeah. good here. Um, well, maybe we should just take the uh, take the Rotting Legion. Right. That'd be great. Okay, here um, there are a couple interesting things. If we did go white blue, mm-hmm. that's a good mana fixer. But if we're only going two colors. It's not a huge concern. Mm-hmm. The Pride Mate, if we get any cards that gain life, right? Um, he can get... Oh, you mean like a lot of green cards? We get, well, <laughs> green or white or... <laughs> I know. The, the color we're not playing? No, that, that's fine. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> if we're forced into green, we'll play green. I'm just saying we need to be open to it. But yeah. at worst, he's a grizzly bear. True. And I, At worst. I and a... With Honor of the Pure, he's at least a... Yeah. A little bit bigger. Um, inspired charge you would never really put in the deck itself, though. Yeah. Um, Barony Vampire. We've never gone black. True. But True. It's a three-two creature for yeah, three. Just it's... take it. I don't really like any of these, but yeah. Sure. And here, probably the infantry veteran. Really? Um, yeah, I've had really good luck with him because. When you're attacking with your 2-2 two, two, and mm-hmm. you can pump it just that one, they have to trade it with their 3-3. Three, three. Sure. So it just upgrades every single guy that you're attacking with. Okay, well, let's, uh, yeah, sure, take it, on huh, shot. Oh, okay, yeah, we. this is the second time we've... I've seen that mass polymorph. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much more tempting the second time around. I know. Yeah. Um, a creature in black. Yeah. Since... Seems like we're almost leaning that way. Yeah. Right, it's the first pack. I don't really want to... Yeah, and, and I'm totally open um, to diving other places. Sure. Sign and Blood is a decent card. It's two cards for two mana. I mean, you have to pay the two life also. Yeah. Draw. True. I mean, whatever. Card manage. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to get it any other way. Yep. Um, Nightwing Shade is a little expensive at right. five. Probably okay, let's take blood. the card advantage, yeah. Um... Blah. Yeah. I guess just take him. At least we'd be gaining life for our pride mate, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. No. Here's another guy where we'd oh, be God, I hate that guy. gaining life. Should we take the Ark Runner? Like, he's never going to make our Yeah, deck. let's play, take the Ark Runner. At least someone else won't God. attack us with that. Oh. Those last picks are always... Oh, yeah. They're the worst. Always pretty brutal. Um, So, I'm sorry, but I'm not really liking our deck right now. No, it's, it definitely needs some support. Yeah. Okay, here's the tough thing. Um, uh, if we're staying away from green, Cudgel Troll, uh, as I say again and again, is one of my favorite cards in Limited, period. Yeah. Uh, White Knight is an incredibly efficient sure. creature for its for what price. It is. Um, we've got the Griffin, and we have the Mighty Leap as well, and Cloud yeah. Elemental, Diminish. I mean, it's a, this is a good pack. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, man. I, I'm almost thinking... Uh, gosh, I almost want to say just take the White Knight. I think you're right. I, if we're going heavy I, White, yeah. he's very effective yeah. at his two spot. Pacifism. Pacifism. Have yeah. to go with that. Uh, the Cloud Crusader would be nice to have. Right, so would the Gargoyle Sentinel. Gargoyle would be nice. Um, but um, the Pacifism. Yep. Yeah, we need that. If White stays open like this. <laughs> We I could get very close to mono one. That's true. We get very, very close. Uh, and if you are close to that, it makes your honor of the pure a lot better. It makes your armor sure. ascension a lot better. And just play nothing but black elimination spells. Yeah. You know. Uh, if we if we if we get them or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or hell, I'd even settle just for a few more sign and bloods. You know, just for card advantage and just keep drawing weenie creatures and pump them up if we can or something. Yeah. To that effect. Um, you know, I would like a couple more big flyers because we don't have, I mean, right now we've only got one fatty, Yeah. you know, and like I said, there's a lot of good green cards that we passed up, um, significant amount of burn out there that we don't have either. So right. I think we're already kind of hurting. Uh, here, uh, black is not incredible. No. Um, white is not incredible. Mm-mm. I mean, there's the fire serp servant, which is always a pain. Yeah. 
Uh, stabbing pain would be good elimination. Um, I'm almost thinking Mighty Leap. I think, yeah, Mighty Leap. But yeah. Not a great pack. No. Nope. Okay. There's another Pride Mate. Um, yep. At some point, if we get enough Pride Mates, I might actually consider playing the Moth, Moth. and some of those life gainers. Right. <clears throat> it's Yeah, the, the aura, whatever, the or time. Every round you gain a life or something yeah. like that. No, that would definitely help. I mean, you could certainly build a deck around it. But, right. So, and again, at uh, worst, we could Mastodon like, would be a decent blocker, but it's expensive. Right, and I think we're going to be an aggressive Wall of Frost. deck. Yeah. Yeah, Wall of Frost. Rise from the Grave is pretty good. Um, can bring back any creature to the yes. battlefield. Um, true. Would you rather have the Pride Mate, though? I think so. Yeah. Oh, mm. here's another cudgel troll, a foil one. Um, stone golem. Stone golem. Five minutes. Yeah. Um, we could actually wow. play in our deck. What were we thinking? I don't know. Someone's going to kill us with a cudgel troll. The good thing is the condemn can mm -hmm. get rid of a cudgel troll, and the True. pacifism can get rid of a cudgel troll. True. Whereas a lot of the other things, we wouldn't be able to destroy it. We don't have a lot of beef. And mm. I think maybe the Stone Golem is our best bet to... Yeah, that's not a bad idea. ...to get some beef. Yeah. Um. Okay, here's... Uh, now it's getting a little bit crazy. <laughs> this card absolutely sucks if you don't have life gain. But he has yeah. life link. If it gets over 30, he's suddenly a 6-6 six, six flyer. Mm -hmm. At worst, if he gains life for us, we're pumping our pride mates. True. We have a very bizarre scheme going on. One time I actually got him to 6-6 six, six in a limited using Mighty Leaps uh, and um, just a couple other things like that. I think we take it. Okay. <laughs> That's just crazy enough to work, I think. Well, oh, well, we all, you know what else we actually passed, though, without really even looking? What? A, a Black Knight. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, uh, card, but I, no, I like your harebrained, crazy-ass scheme better. The card that will shut down our deck. <laughs> uh, like Palace Guard shut down our deck the other oh, yeah. week. That was Boy. embarrassing. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you haven't seen that episode, you should go to RobotViking.com and witness our glory, and we use glory loosely. Uh -huh. Ooh, it, um, but, you know. Warlord's like Axe it. can be decent if you can put it on a flyer and attack away with just, it. Yeah. Uh, Palace Guard would be another white creature. Right. Um, don't really have um, blue, so cancels the little heavy. I'll just take the guard. Sure. Okay, um, here's the embarrassing point where I think we actually take the tireless mission. Oh my goodness. They gain us life. <laughs> which in this bizarro <laughs> yeah. world might actually be effective. We may play green if we can get those <laughs> cards that gain six life. Oh, true, true. Um, you may violate your, your rule for the game. It, it's I, I, between that and winning. I mean, it's about winning, right? Right. Well, I don't Screw think we're fun. Gonna, I don't think we're going to win with this uh, no. scheme. Actually, these cards would gain us life also. I didn't even think of... Oh, sure, sure. Whatever. So he plays play. all those green be bombers. Right. Yeah. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, we could go with another Mighty Leap. We could uh, go with a Rook Egg. I say we go with a Mighty Leap. Okay. Yeah. Here, if we went black... This would be another way to gain life. Jeez. Let's <laughs> do it. Do it. I, I think there's a theme here. Wow. An underutilized theme. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Why not? Take this here. Sure. We'll sack it. Uh, uh, another horror. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Demon's Horn. Sure. Play our own spells. Gain some life. Here's the uh, green card I was talking about. To gain Take it life. anyway. Yeah. It's just a, a wonderful sign that... Yeah. We need to be... I don't know if this is actually a draft archetype. I've never heard of someone playing a life-gaining M11 deck. It's true. Because it's At a least not idea. a booster draft, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, this is not designed to win. <laughs> this is really us. We have the Whisper Soul Cloak. We just got a Sword of Vengeance, which oh, is... shit. ...incredible. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's... That's the biggest bomb we have ever opened Wow! on Draft Beer. I'm going to click on that just to make sure that we don't accidentally not take it. Yeah. Um, but that makes one of our creatures suddenly like a, a Chroma Angel of Wrath. Whoa. Wow, well, that's... Um, so we'll never see it. No. No. Nope. But I, but I feel um, 
slightly aroused, and a Sarah Angel just popped into our yep, Sarah lap. Angel. Um, take that. Uh, this whole this whole mono white thing isn't looking too bad. Yeah. Um, whatever came across the white spell. <laughs> Maybe just take it. Take it. no. Uh, what do we got here? Squadron Hawk. Uh, if we got any mm. more suck Squadron Hawks, it becomes much better. Uh, yeah, sleep sleep's pretty huge. It's huge. Everything else is so so. I mean, he's a three three flyer. <sighs> yeah. Um, mm. I say. Oh. Well, there's that. <laughs> I really... It's gonna table. It's gonna. Yeah, it'll table. It'll table. We're taking so, that when it comes back. Right, right. And we're gonna play in the. Maybe we weather. should take the sleep. I think we should take the sleep. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna play an angel's feather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Solemn's Offering also gains, gains us life. Yeah, um, but so. we won't main deck it, I don't no. think, unless we're... Maybe the Silver Coat Lion. I know it's not as good as our uh, Guard. Pride Mates, but again, hopefully we are getting out that Honor of the Pure. True. And white creatures at this point. True. Or yeah. Games. Or if you want to take, take the Palace Guard and fend off a bazillion creatures in an attempt to just build our deck up, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, it's only one more. So. Yeah. Takes a Okay, um, um, some interesting things here. Oh, Here's some enchantment hate. Yep. If they mind control us, we can get rid of their mind control. Right. Gargoyle. Yeah, three three flyer. It's good and mighty leap. Again, we are third uh, mighty in, leap. In an aggressive deck, it's yeah definitely a good play. I'm kind of tempted to go with the right because it, it we've had it played against us. Yeah. Uh, to good effect. Yep. So, um, I say... And he's white. Yep, and we could use the elimination. Um, let's so see. Let's, yeah. If we decided to play blue, yeah. which we only have sleep, so I don't see that happening. Um, but so there's that really nothing here. Maybe combust, just because it deals five damage to a target white or blue creature. Oh, and we don't want that to happen. Yeah, so it's strong against us, but there's nothing here that we will be playing. Right. Um, gosh, um, I can't believe I'm considering taking Golden Glow Moth wow. over the Silver over the Golden Lion, lion. Um, only because it gains life. <laughs> Why not, man? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. If you're going to lose, lose gloriously. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Probably Safe Passage. Um, only yeah. Strength. I just don't see either one of them making it, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, you'd think Holy Strength would be the better card, almost, but... It, it might be. We could, even if we threw it on that Sarah Ascendant, and he's dealing two damage and gaining him us two life right. in that weird world. Although Safe Pastures can be great. Huge, they, especially for all, like, a white weenie deck, which is essentially what we have. Yeah. Safe Patches. Safe Passage. Wow. There's your third moth. Yeah, my third moth, or <laughs> a Mastodon. I can't even look at you anymore. <laughs> Whoever <laughs> is watching this, I know you're embarrassed. Yes. Um, that you're, Actually, I'm watching this. <laughs> and you're embarrassed. <laughs> and I'm embarrassed. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so torn. I really think that... You think this argument... You, you think we're inventing something that no one's done before. Right. And, and I'm going to take the Siege Master then. Okay. Um, because... Because... <laughs> wow. Right here is the... Alluring moth. Siren... Uh, yeah, that would force people to attack into our moth. <laughs> <laughs> There's the angel's feather. That uh, will make the deck. Wow. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we're that stupid. Yep. Uh, there's a hundred spades. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll take the lion. Yeah. Or, or whatever, you know. Yeah, I know. We probably yeah. should. The cool thing about that would be we'd be gaining six life, so we'd be jumping yeah. way up. But but we yeah. we can't just. <laughs> this deck is such wow. a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is, we have to fend them off long enough for us to even <laughs> see what's going to happen with this deck. Here's my word to the viewers, because right <laughs> now you're thinking to yourself, that was the poorest draft, draft choice I have ever seen. Um, ultimately, this is a game, and right mm. now I am excited. <laughs> I am truly excited and enjoying myself, and I want to see what happens. Right, right. And it may blow up in our face, and we may have just lost, eh, you know, twelve dollars. Whatever. Yeah. I, 
it's better than us actually trying and losing twelve dollars. <laughs> yeah. Which is what happened the last four times we we did draft beer. Right. And I got way, a, I got a sort of a <laughs> vengeance, which I'm kind of excited about. Yeah. And I think even in a terrible deck, like hell, I could throw oh, that on my Golden Glow Moth <laughs> and send me <laughs> as a beater. That's true. So <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fear the moth. So let's start taking some of these white cards. Um, um, I'm going to start with the ones that really are strong and yeah. then work our way in. Um, well, I don't know if the Pride Mates really are strong, but well, they're put them there. War Priest. Something good about War Priest is it says you may destroy right, cards. Right, right. So, if you're the only one on the board. Right. You're yeah. not losing your pacifism. You're Absolutely. not losing your armor ascension. One of the few uh, times when, uh, you know, Watsi has changed warrings on things, you know, or like, you know, because it used to be just you would have to destroy your own, but. Yep. Normally we get burned when uh, uh I think there is ascendant. If nothing yeah. else to pump up the sure. things. Um so we're at nine creatures. Okay. I seriously want that. Okay. Stone Probably Golem. Stone Golem. Um and then from here, uh we need some more creatures. Okay. Uh let's see. We, we have, have Palace there. Guards, we have Siege Mastodon. <sighs> Yeah. We have the silver coat lion, and we have <laughs> all of those moths. Do you really want the moths in there? Because here's the thing: if we never see, if we never see that ascendant, then we've essentially maybe bought some time. Right. We we buy least. ourselves some time. We might make our pride mate a little bit bigger. Yeah. We potentially make our ascendant enormous. Yeah. Um. Palace guards, okay. Let's put those in. Those are definitely going yeah. to buy us time. Yeah. Okay. So maybe those um, and siege mastodon would be even more time. True. Tarlos missionaries give us life. Right. They're okay. Two, three. So they would be uh, some life. Mighty leaps. Absolutely. Just because we still want to try and win. We want those. <laughs> 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 Regardless of what this yeah, appears to be. On some subconscious level, the lizard portion of my brain, I still want to beat this guy that we're going to be up against. Um, so we're at 13 creatures. Okay. Got two more cards to fill in. Oh, jeez. So we almost have to take creatures. So we almost have to take let's look at Let's look at our... Uh... Yeah, yeah we are packed at two. Yeah. A moth would be a play on turn one. True. Um, a moth would be a surprising blocker who survives when we mighty leap him. True. Um, I, yeah. I think we put him in. Now, okay. here's a question. Right. We are Because we mono are mono-white, Yeah. do, do we, we play 16 land? <sighs> that's not... Yeah, that's rough. Because... Um, I mean, color-wise, we're not going to get true, but if we but just total throughout the course of the game, right? You know, um, the thing is, you know, if we were to try and include those black cards, it would let us draw more cards. You know, but then again, I mean, that, it's that's a it's a huge gamble. I mean, we're we're already gambling, so it's like, what do you do? Right. Um, but if they have anything that shuts down white, we're effed. And then we sideboard in. True, so sideboard in black or something. Something, yeah. We, we ditched your life strategy or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, but, man, it, you know, I say we just go for it. What's What are our other life gainers over there? We've got the Demon's Horn, which is for black, and then the Worm's Tooth, which is for what, red? Uh, green. Green. So, um, I mean, as a sideboard, we can throw either of those in. Yeah. Um, and they help, again, help that strategy. thing is, yeah, we're going mono-white, so we can... Str we can Throw in elimination based on whatever we're up against. Yeah, you know, and just see if we can actually. So, you, so do you think we should go? Maybe even uh, throw in the third moth. We could throw in the third moth. We could throw in the safe passage, because not only life sure, gain, sure. but also preventing loss of life um, is important. And that, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea because that it could, just, like I said, could just buy us some time. Right. I mean, and I like the idea of blocking with our moths and not having them die because we save sure. passage. And then they have to tack in again and we gain four life off of them a second time. I see. Man. Whew. 
this is the most bizarre thing I have ever done in yeah. Magic. Yeah, no, I, I have never drafted this deck before. Wow. I don't think anyone, any good Magic player has. No. Um, well, um, damn, let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. Let's submit. Submit, and we'll see you on the flip side.